it crazy. Presiding judges flee Nigerian to avoid being killed by the obedience group after Tunubu was declared winner against Peter Obi. Nonsense. Nonsense. Well, the person that brought us this very information is uh, our own very economist, that's uh, Pat Utomi, who Tunubu sees as his own son. Uh, Pat Utomi is a Labour Party um, uh, uh, member, but, but was still used by Tunubu to betray Peter Obi. I'm telling you, uh, he was the one who was called behind and given money to go and... Um, and uh, pay for Peter Obi's uh, presidential ticket. Hmm. Uh, my people, that is politics for you, anyway. Um, let's quickly check the content and um, know where these uh, criminal judges are running to. Yes, I said so. I know what I'm saying. This is today's news. The PEPT is expected to deliver its ruling on the complaint filed by the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi against Bola Tunubu's victory in the 2023 presidential election held on February 25th. In that election, both Atiku and Obi trailed behind Tunubu, who was declared the winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, securing second and third places, respectively. Utomi conveyed his perspective during an interview highlighting that the judges and politicians flee the country. Immediately, the judgment was passed. He went on to emphasize that had the principle of honesty been scrupulously adhered to, such a situation would not have arisen. Good. Utomi expressed nothing surpassed the centrality of principles. People are so fearful with judges and politicians, leaving Nigerian to avoid being here on judgment. If we had simply followed honesty principles, nothing would be up for dispute. And this crisis of legitimacy wouldn't cast a shadow on the future. He added, the issue with evading judgment day is that there are no escape routes from the judgment of history and the judgment of God. Those who have squandered, squandered the potential of numerous young people and exposed numerous vulnerability due to greed who face judgment. Otome underscored that truth is like an open wound and the challenge lies in applying the remedy without causing further harm. He suggested that the solution doesn't lie in evasion but in addressing one's conscience. He concluded optimistically stating that tomorrow holds the promise of a new Nigeria, regardless of the circumstances. Um, despite that, I am still not happy with Pato Tumi. Yes, if you ask me. And if you check Peter Obi properly, you will see that Peter Obi is still not happy with Pato Tumi. Because Utomi also played his role in his defeat. You understand? I bet you if Peter Obi has remained with Atiko, he would have succeeded as a vice president and that would have been even more favorable. Why Atiko become the president of Nigeria? But because of the, the wisdom that Tunubu applied in politics, he succeeded in splitting the two of them. Okay, well, my people, that is that for now. And that is that coming from Pat Utomi. 
Um, without wasting much of your time, I will give you room to come in and let's hear you. And let's know what you think and what your opinion um, uh, could be on what has just been revealed by Pato Tomi. What is the authenticity of his claim? Let's hear from you and let's know what your take is. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.